Alrighty, so we're going to make this program run forever, or so to speak. Well, right now, the program is set, it, it runs once, um, which is kind of boring. But there are sometimes you want things just run once, like your dragster that you're going to make, that, that runs, you know, kind of once. It goes down to the finish line and stops. Um, how we make that happen is we put in this thing, uh, a while statement. So while um, something is going on, something's happening. Now you can put in while uh, bump switch equals zero kind of thing, which is, you know, do it until I press the bump switch. Or we can do it forever-ish by saying while one oops, equals one. So that's the program. And then run this stuff which is all of these, you know, turn the LED off to make sure it's off. Um, when I touch, turn things on, turn my LED on. I'm just indenting them because we like them to look neat because they're loop, they are a loop inside the while. So if I indent them, I see them inside the while. This gets much more important when you write bigger programs that have multiple loops. So you can see what is a loop of what. Um, until touch, stop motor, the center, and turn off. And then what it does, um, it goes back through, back up to the top of the while. It says, hey, does one still equal one? Yeah, we'll run the program. Runs through it. Boom. Goes back top. Does one still equal one? Yeah. Okay. Now, you could put a counter up here. Um, you know, create a variable called counter and say, you know, while counter is less than five, do this. And then at the bottom, you would say, hey, now that I did it once, counter equals counter plus one. It comes up and says, oh, is it less than five? Yeah, one's less than five. Runs counter equals counter plus one. So now the counter would be equal two. You, it, that's like how, how you add things up. All right. So you may notice that my light didn't work. No, you didn't see it because you didn't see my light didn't work. Um, I said to turn the LED light on. And then mine didn't actually go on. So I came back here and looked why. It says, oh, I mistakenly made my light a touch sensor, which is not true. My light is a light, VEX LED. Now the light's actually going to work. Remember to apply. Um, since I'm changing things, I want to save as. Um, and I want this to be a loop. So loop. Motors with switches and light. Bam. Now we go. I don't want to change that other program. I wanted to use it and just add on it a little bit so I didn't have to redo all the setups and have to retype all that. Um, so now I got one curly open curly bracket here saying do the while. One open curly bracket here saying do this. Since I added an open curly bracket, I need to close that curly bracket. Two opens, two closes. So this open close is for the loop this one is for the um, whole program so compile program there were no errors um, turn the room robot on download the robot start all right it's running it's waiting for me to hit a button um, so I hit the button and two motors go and the light turns on. I hit the bump switch and only one motor turns off. And the light turned off. But why did only one motor turn off? Then I hit the limit switch again. Hey, the light goes back on, the other motor goes on. Hit the bump switch, one motor goes off. Like that. Turn, turn the robot off and then I'll stop. Okay, why did it do that? Because I never told it to turn the other motor off. So it just kept coming up here and running the program, which says, turn the motor on, turn the motor on, turn the motor on. Um, so if you want to turn it off, you better turn it off. So I would come in here, control C, control V, and that was the right motor I want to turn off. All right. Um, compile program, make sure that everything's still good. Make sure I didn't forget like a semicolon. Download the robot. Turn the robot on. Hit start. 
Press the switch, both motors and light turns on. Press the other switch, the light, everything turns off. Press the limit switch, they turn on, other switch off. This is gonna go on forever, because while one equals one, one's always one. So that's how you get a loop in there and make it run forever.